subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasse here and today in this video i am going to show you how you can change the boot sequence of your dell inspiron laptop so this is a dell inspiron 5570 laptop to be particular but the process is same for any other dell laptop so let's begin the tutorial before i begin to tell you the tutorial i should tell you that i was asked this question on how i can change the boot sequence of the dell inspiron 5570 laptop by one of my viewers so in the previous video i showed you how you can install an nvme ssd so if you're wondering how you can install one in your own dell 5570 laptop i will put a link in the video's description and a box should appear up right now so when you have multiple like hard drives or ssd then you need to prioritize them like if you have an nvme ssd then you want your pc to boot first from your nvme ssd and then to your local hard disk drive so that's the purpose why we change our boot sequence and sometimes we change it because we want to install a new operating system through the usb anyways let's start it So first of all I'm going to power my laptop and continuously I'm going to press the F2 key until I see the BIOS screen on my laptop. So here is the BIOS screen so you can either use your laptop or keyboard keys. So on the left you can see we got settings and if you maximize the general panel that is the first one on the left side. Here you will have system information, battery information and on the third it says boot sequence you are going to press on boot sequence first of all make sure that your boost list option is on legacy now here you can see a couple of options so here we have discrete drive internal hard disk drive usb storage cd dvd rom onboard nic m2 pci ssd and system device bay so you need to check the things that you want to boot up so internal hard drive needs to boot up that's why it's checked cd dvd rom onboard nic and if you have an m2 pci ssd or an nvme ssd then you need to check mark this as well and system device bay needs to also be check mark now if you want to boot a usb storage device in order to install the os then you can check mark this as well and as you check marks on these things you can see that the list on the right side increases so suppose that now I have the PCIe SSD on the first of the list. Suppose that you want your internal hard disk drive to boot it up first. The thing on the top will be booted first then the lower one and so on. So if I want my internal hard disk drive to be booted up first when the computer starts, I am simply going to press on it and I am going to press the up key from here and you can see the internal hard disk drive has gone up and the PCIe SSD has gone down. Again, if you want your USB storage device to come up, if you want to install an operating system, then you're going to select it and then you're going to just put it up on the first of the list. So in your case, if you have an SSD, then the most priority should be given to the SSD that is M2 PCI SSD as long if you're not willing to install an operating system using the USB storage device. So I don't want any OS to be installed right now using an external USB device. So I'm just simply going to uncheck USB storage device from the less left side of the list. And here I want my M2 PCI SSD to boot up first, then my internal hard disk drive, then my CDD, CD DVD drive because in that I have a second hard drive, then my onboard NIC and last but not least my system device bay you can remove things as well as well as you can add them and in this way you can change their boot sequence on the dell inspiron 5570 it's quite really simple but mostly don't people know about it so now you can know how you can change the boot sequence on your dell inspiron 5570 or any other dell laptop once you have made the changes the most important thing is that you can see here on the bottom right it says restore settings apply and exit you need to press on the apply if you want to save the changes just may, uh, leave it as it is and you're going to press on ok so you can see all the things have been saved uh, according to to the order that you want them to be booted up now you're going to press on exit and now your pc will start first boot from your 
M2 NVMe or M2 SSD then to your local hard disk drive and then so on according to the list. It's working perfectly all right and it booted up quite fast because I am using an NVMe SSD. That's the benefit of having SSDs. So guys, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any kind of questions regarding this video, write them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I have made many videos regarding the Dell Inspiron 5570 as well. You can find these videos on my channel or in the video's description. Other than that, thank you for watching and stay safe.